Hi, welcome to today's lecture. Today we are going to learn about matrix median problem. In the matrix median problem, we are given an integer array of size n into m and we need to provide the overall median of the matrix. Pose the screen to read the whole statement. There is no extra memory which is allowed in order to solve the problem. If we look at the constraints, we find out that the size of n into m matrix goes 10 into 10 to power 6. That means we need to solve this problem in n log n time and nothing more than that. Let's look at the example. Pose your screen and look at the example. Just think what could be the simplest solution to solve this particular problem. Well, we can just flatten the whole 2D array into 1D array, find total number of elements and can just directly calculate which element would be our median element. But there are two shortcomings with this particular solution. One, this is asking for an extra memory. And second would be that the total complexity would go O n into m, that is total number of rows into total number of columns, because in order to flatten the array, we need to traverse all the elements. But as per the statement, we can definitely optimize the solution to O n log into m. To watch that, you need to keep watching the video till the end and do not forget to share, comment and subscribe to the channel. First, we need to go over the definition for median. Median for an odd numbered matrix would be 1 into row into columns divided by 2. This f number would be our median element. That means total number of elements which are either smaller or equal to r 1 into rows into columns divided by 2. And this is very important to remember because the whole summary of the solution lies in this particular definition. So what we will do, we will first find out the mean element and the max element which we can easily find out from the very first column and the very last column as our rows, as our matrix is sorted row wise. So here we are calculating the max and mean element from the array. We will define one variable total count which will be keeping total elements which are either lesser than or equal till the median element. For the given mean and max, we will make a while loop and the while loop we will traverse over the whole matrix row wise and within the each row we will try to find out the mid element or the mid actually and if we find it out, if we find that within a row it is present then we will find total number of elements which are equal to or smaller than the given element else we will try to find out whether this particular mid is supposed to go to the start of the row or to the end of the row and that will give us total number of elements which are equal to or lesser than the mid element here to find out our element we are going to use arrays.binary search you can see how binary search arrays dot binary search actually works on the screen so the index is giving us the index at which the element is present or if it is not then it will be given either either minus 1 or minus array length minus 1 so if the element is not present then we then we are finding out how many elements are lesser than the particular element but if an element is present we need to go till the last occurrence of that element
and then when we have found out how many elements are smaller or equal to the mid element we would be increasing our total count here total count is being increased with the help of index now we need to define now we need to find out how we are going to reduce our search space as we have found out that how many elements are in the total count then we can compare that with total number of required elements which is total number of elements which are lesser than or equal to the median element that is 1 into total number of rows into total number of columns divided by 2 in that case the very first intuition comes that we can just simply compare the total count with the medianth element but that won't give us the correct result because we are not sure that the mid which we have calculated actually present in our array or not hence we need to divide our search space into two different parts one if we can go towards the lower part second if we go towards the upper part so we will compare our total count with the median element that is medianth element and if it is lesser than that we will be going towards the upper part that means we are going to increase our min so the total mid middleth element increases else we are going towards the lower part this should go inside the while loop we will return mean or the max both will be equal at the end of while loop we have made some mistake and we need to include the for loop also which we forgot to second we have also made one another mistake where while we were dividing our search space we need to divide it in such a way that if our total count is less than median we need to ignore the upper part else we need to keep the lower part plus the mid element and this works thank you for watching the video